Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Outfit Dead Outfit Today. Today for episode 40, which is the 40th on the channel for this outfit series, we're going to be doing the Boer Commando of the Africana Former Republic, known as the Orange Free State, which existed from the early 1600s up till, till about 1903, which another became known for being South Africa. Now if you don't know what a Boer is, it is Africana for farmer, Boer at the time had to deal with the harshness of Africa's climate and animals and the people. And mainly by I say people, I mean by the very pissed off tribal members who wanted to eat your skin because you stole their fucking cows. Anyway, there was actually two Boer Wars. I'm going to give you all a little history lesson on this. There was two Boer Wars. The first Boer War was from 1870 to 1881. Or 1880 to 1881, I forget the date specifically for the first one. But in the Second Boer War, which is the most known, they. The Boers got fucked over. Like, the British, they pretty much put all the female and children and elderly members of the Boers in a war of attrition into concentration camps. Which. To be completely honest, it's. it's fucked up. Now. There was a lot of tragedies in that war, and it was a very fucked up war, but mainly they were supplied by Germans, etc., in terms of weaponry and such. Anyway, let's get into the outfit. Anyway, you want to have the Death Shoots scut, scar Death Shoots scarf, or a black neckerchief. It's up to you, but I'm going to go with that. Now, for hats, you're going to want to have the uh, Gladewater hat, which is from one of the collector roll outfits. I went with the black one because looks pretty much like what a Boer wear. Now the Boer commanders were pretty much the civilian militia by the way, so their clothing wasn't uniformitarian at all. Really, unless it was like a higher up, like Coos del Rey or something. Anyway, for coats, we're gonna go with the black hunter jacket, because honestly that's something they would wear. I mean, Africa is a hot climate, but the coats they would wear and such would negate that effect. Wait, not, not the shirt, no shirt, no, not shirt yet, but fucking Anyway, you want to go with a blue mattock vest of this color. I mean, you can go with the green or the gray or any of these colors, but it's all personal. Horse. I want this one, though, because he's brought it together. Now, for shirts, <coughs> you can go with a white Union shirt or a Rex Road shirt. Now, I went with the Rex Road, but you have to have the last outlaw pass to do that. So, yeah. Anyway, there's no gloves or anything. Um, belts are optional, I suppose. I mean, you don't have to have it because you're wearing a vest. Uh, pants, you got probably about two options. Right? You can go with the clerk pants or the studded pants. Now, that's up to you on that one. Now, for boots, the Boers mainly wore tied shoes like boots, like cobbled boots or something. I mean, you could probably go with, like, workman boots if you wanted to, but it's not probably wouldn't be that realistic. Or maybe lumber boots. Um, I went with the Dunnison boots and the brown. I mean, you could go with like the black as well, but I just prefer the brown because it looks like what they wear. I'm going off a picture I found off of Wikipedia, by the way. Now, they're not going to have a spur or anything like that, but anyway... Oh, yeah, there's also for weapon equipment, I forgot to mention. Uh, you're going to have a merino bandolier in the brown color because... Bowers are actually very expert marksmen. Like, they use all sorts of weapons, mainly because they were trained in Africa's hunting and such. I mean, they use everything from M95 Mausers to Krag Organsons. Very few Krag Organsons, by the way, which is a gun in the game you can use. I mean, they use, like, German imports like Mausers, old rolling block rifles, like, captured lead metfers and such. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Red Dead Outfits with the Boer Commando. Thank you, gentlemen. And remember, most importantly... Always respect accurate marksman. Anyway, go look out there. Peace and uh, fuck yeah.